What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Pokemon Let's Go Eevee review discussion video. This is going to be episode 2. If you haven't watched episode 1, I recommend you go back and checking out episode 1. I'm have it linked in the description below in this video. In episode 1, I go over the basic graphics and the catching mechanic and the brief intro tutorial section of the game. In this video, I'm going to go over the Brock Gym, Mount Moon and Miss these gym because I did that in that order. I tackled Brock's gym, I went to Mount Moon, tackled that, and then I basically got out of Mount Moon, went straight to Misty's gym, and then completed Misty's gym right away. So I'm gonna be talking about that. So let's start at the beginning. Brock's gym, my initial impressions when I first walked into Brock's gym, I was amazed. Now again, I did see ton of footage of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee of Brock's gym. We got the reveal that Brock and Misty, you know, all this returning characters we got to see them way before the games got released we got to see brock's gym a couple of times a lot of people got to play demos where they got to run around and record inside of brock's gym so it was no real surprise but jumping in there myself brock's gym looks amazing to see in full hd with these graphics you know with this art style and it looks incredible i like the whole rock path that looked like you know that onyx made and stuff like that the onyx was just snaking through this path and made for for this gym the gym itself it's on the easy side these trainers are walk in a park especially brock and i get to that in a second why they're all working in the park i want to talk about gym requirements first actually gym requirements in gyms are new to the game and they are something that when the games were you know being announced and we found out there were actually going to be gym requirements for each gym was kind of a, a warning sign everyone was like what the fuck they're making the games easier they're making it that you have to be told what pokemon you need to bring in and stuff like that because the requirements for the brock gym are that you need a grass type pokemon and immediately everybody was thrown off and i thought that that it was going to make the games more easier more simpler more hand holdy and initially i thought the same thing but i kind of get it and i kind of understand why they would introduce a feature like this to kind of hold the hand of the player yes but they don't put the gun to your head and force you to use the pokemon that you are checking in with the guy at the door that is checking for these pokemon they do ask you to bring a grass or water type pokemon which i think is odd because i don't think you could catch a water type pokemon before you enter brock gym but a grass pokemon it could be anything from caterpie to weedle to their evolutionary lines to oddish so again you do have a big pool to choose from and regardless you're gonna have one of those pokemon either on your team or in your Pokemon box if you walk through Viridian City Forest unless you've been power throughing it with your starter Pokemon which is 100% possible and not catching anybody but they are encouraging you to catch Pokemon in this game so that is why I believe they done that requirement where you need to capture at least a grass or water type Pokemon now one thing that i didn't like about this gym that again people were saying you know it's the first gym of course it's gonna be easy is the fact that this gym is a walk in the park with either starter pokemon now i don't i can't really make that case for eevee i haven't played the let's go eevee games yet I only have my hands on the let's go pikachu game and pikachu learns to move a double kick very early on in the game to the point that you're gonna have it regardless if you out catching pokemon or doing these battles you're gonna have it regardless once you enter this gym now a lot of people were saying hey you know just don't use Pikachu then if you want the challenge and I'm like yeah but the fact that you have Pikachu with double kick that is gonna be their highest level Pokemon you're gonna be tempted to use that bad boy and that's what I did and I used double kick all throughout this gym it was the only move that I used on every trainer that I came across now granted it's only three trainers in here with Brock so it's it's like yeah i kind of just powered my way through but the fact that that's an option kind of left a sore taste in my mouth to say because of the fact that think about brock's gym in pokemon yellow specifically that's a tough gym 
that's a tough step to overcome because you do have Pikachu and he doesn't learn double kick in the original versions of the game. So you do have to go out, catch yourself a Nidoran, Nidorino, a Mankey, let them learn double kick and then proceed into that gym. I feel like they kind of, yeah, made it easy that you could just walk into that gym now and just completely get through that hurdle without any effort. But again, I feel like it takes away so much of a sense of accomplishment of catching another Pokemon outside of your starter and getting that first gym done knowing that misty when you do have pikachu in pokemon yellow anyway knowing that you're gonna hit misty that is gonna be a water gym you know you're gonna be able to breeze through misty with pikachu anyway you're gonna still have that sense of accomplishment with your starter pokemon i don't know why they wanted to have that first gym with brock feel that easy as well but again they're you know seeing this as you know people's first pokemon game as well not you know some guy that played this game 20 years ago so i kind of understand but it kind of made me feel like the gym was kind of pointless basically that the badge was kind of pointless if i could just double kick my way through it now moving on to probably the best part of this video review part from brock to misty to me and that's when you complete Brock's gym and you walk outside of Brock's gym, you get to meet Blue. Blue comes and congratulates you for completing the Brock gym, for getting the badge. And I was immediately taken back because this is something that hasn't been shown, that kind of has been kept under wraps. And I understand why every time somebody completed the Brock's gym on a Let's Play or whatever the case may be, they couldn't record any more footage. And that is because they get to meet Blue right outside of that gym. Now we did kind of have that rumor that blue and red were gonna be in the game and they did have a trailer of blue and red in the game, but I didn't know that we were gonna be meeting blue this early. I thought it was gonna be some post game that he was gonna come and take over Giovanni's gym, that he was probably gonna be Giovanni's gym leader or whatever the case may be. Who knows, later on down the line, I will talk about that when I go over that. But to see blue here initially, like I was, I got so excited, I was so hyped. You know, he looks incredible in this art style and you know he comes congratulates you gives you balls and just kind of acknowledge that you did that he is in the same universe as you and i was just like oh my god that is so cool that is so cool put a smile on my face took me back you know 20 years and i was just like yes 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 i'm gonna enjoy this game especially if it has more nods like this moving over to mount moon mount moon felt pretty cool to see it in full 3d you you know with the Zubats and the Geodudes and the Onyx running around. What I did like is that they added more emphasis to Jesse and James inside of Mount Moon. They're not just at the end and pop up once you gain your fossil. They actually made it that it's like a little game of tag. Every time you pop in a new room, Jesse and James will be in it and they will just like, you know, leave or like turn around like, hey, what are you doing here? And you know, stop following us or whatever the case may be. To the point they even have me out sleeping outside and you can interact with everybody does not Nothing, but then you go inside and then Meowth comes running and then they're like, hey Meowth, why did you let this kid in here or whatever the case may be. Sucks that Meowth doesn't have a voice and talks like it does in the anime, but it's okay. I understand they kind of trying to keep that Pokemon don't talk feel for the games. Makes sense, but it's just so weird that they're having a full conversation with Meowth and Meowth is just like, meow. So take that as you may. The whole Mount Moon is pretty cool. There's, I like the fact that there's trainers in here and there's Pokemon to catch at the same time. It feels kind of a little bit more dense than Viridian City Forest. The Pokemon trainers in here are kind of easy to push over, yeah, but there are abundance of them, so you can feel like you're leveling up every time you're in a battle, and, you know, even when you're catching new Pokemon that you see, it's cool. You know, they got Clefairy, Clefable in here, I call it, I believe. They also have Chansey in here that is able to catch, which is a, you know, red ring of death, I call it, when you see it in here. But it's so cool to see a you know a different variety of pokemon very early on in the game and especially these are all new pokemon that you haven't seen before on a 
other routes now also on this the route coming into mount moon you see charmander you see Sandshrew, you see Mankey, just a different variety of pokemon and pool of pokemon that you can pull and catch it's amazing i love that updated feel and you know function to the pokemon games than ever before it's not just the same random pokemon encounters that you've been getting over and over and the fact that you can basically dodge zubats a hundred times better than what we got in, in the original games oh my god i am loving every cave to the point that i hope that that feature does make its way back into the gen 8 games so i got my fossil i ran out of there then i got into cerulean city and my first thought was to you know get a tour of the city walk around and i was like that's gonna lead me up the bridge didn't want to do that first i kind of felt confident that i was going to be able to sweep misty's gym so that's what i did i stopped by the pokemon center healed my pokemon and i talked to a person inside of the pokemon center that gives pikachu a move it's zippy zap which basically always goes first and it's still a thunder move and i was like oh my god i'm gonna sweep i'm gonna sweep i'm gonna sweep walked into missy's gym pretty cool gym i love it that they you know updated the idea of the gym where there's not just you know people sitting in a pool there's you know diving boards there's you know people jumping into the water her sisters or whatever pretty cool easter egg that you know they named the trainers after misty's sisters from the anime i thought that was pretty cool little dope touch that they added there but again playing with pikachu as your starter just like how it is in pokemon yellow this gym is a walk in a park you walk in zip zap everybody and basically one shot everybody is set for star you at the end which was a two hit for me mind you that is probably the cheap way i'm probably sure there's going to be people out there going to be saying hey why didn't you not use pikachu if you're complaining about the gyms being too easy and i'm gonna be like yeah I, i'm using pikachu on my first run through of the game i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do a hard mode for myself where i will put pikachu in my box and not use it and just use pokemon and caps and raise up and stuff like that but for my first playthrough i just wanted to kind of breeze through the game see everything about the game that it had to offer and then maybe later go back and do a hard mode you know we got a whole year with this game so i'm gonna have time to you know deep dive and you know with a harder team to try to make it more difficult for myself i just kind of wish that that i didn't have to do that that it was just hard you know what i'm saying like it was just difficult i'm not saying that pokemon games need to be dark souls but i am praying and wishing that we got a pokemon game that we were just like shit boy you got a whoa boy you got you got a lot to do boy now granted that might come in post game with the master trainers and obviously that's probably why they threw them in but i am enjoying that this is kind of easy but at the same time i kind of wish it was harder so i'm kind of on the fence complaining about it but then also enjoying it at the same time because who cannot enjoy the gen 1 games and enjoy the feeling of dominating a gym leader it's just so much enjoyment so i enjoyed it beating misty's ass and just zip zapping misty to death until i basically beat the gym yeah it was kind of cheap win but you know that's how i'm running through this game right now anyway for my first playthrough so i'm gonna leave this review discussion here in the next episode i'll probably talk about nugget bridge meeting with blue and then the SSN because I'm gonna have that as one episode. I might throw Lieutenant Surgeon at the end just so I could do gym to gym to gym to gym so I won't feel so empty like in between episodes in between gyms or whatever the case may be but I do want to give each section of the game a whole spotlight of me talking about it and me giving a free review and giving my thoughts on each part of the game. Now mind you I am doing little tour videos for the towns and like little stuff on the side as well so be on the lookout for that as you guys know i answer all comments so if you have anything any discussions about these two gyms in particular or anything i miss anything you want to talk about meet me in the comment section below i'll be happy to talk to you guys in there i hope you enjoying this style of review i was going to do a regular review but i 
figured that I had too much to say and a lot to show you guys that I just wanted to do something that felt genuine as a Pokemon fan just having a discussion because this is a you know discussion channel where we discuss things and I felt like I wanted to do a let's go Pikachu let's go Eevee full discussion review let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below peace I'm gonna see you guys on the next episode of the Pokemon let's go Pikachu let's go Eevee discussion review like always guys I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube and yes I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video peace I'm gonna see you guys on the next one